Damon in a, in a busy, high-powered schedule, what's the value and importance of a day like this to you? Well, I think that um, most people would have you believe that we try and uh, you know give a bit of our own time and actually it's all valuable time and we've, we've been very generous in coming down here and helping the Grand Prix Mechanics uh, charity. In actual fact everyone's having a really good time and, uh, and, and I think given half a chance most racing drivers would, uh, would do this five days a week because it really is good fun, especially giving uh, the public an opportunity to see what it's like driving alongside you because usually you're the only person to experience what's going on. Passengers are coming back with a few stories to tell. What's been your worst moment? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my worst moment is actually having the passengers there when everything goes wrong, because uh, I've had to fork out uh, 50 quid to each of them to, tell, to stop them telling uh, <laughs> telling all the tales. No, it's, but, um, I mean, it's, it's terrific fun, and it's wet as well, so that makes it even slipperier and even more hairy. It's just sort of fun. What, how important a part of your life uh, are the mechanics and, and how do you relate to them during the course of the season? Well, they're the guys that uh, do all the hard work and don't get much of the, the glory. And you, it's quite simple, really. You, you put your life in their hands because you're entrusting uh, their, your, your life with their professionalism uh, and under very difficult circumstances. They're having to do very, um, very demanding jobs and also there's, there's a massive pressure on them to, um, to perform without without making mistakes and if they're involved now in refueling so this season of course we've seen the the fire a uh, accident at uh, Hockenheim and so in actual fact they are exposing themselves even to quite a lot of risk as well so you know we're, we're very much indebted all the drivers are very much indebted to the work of the mechanics. Well now we're poised for this uh, amazing fine race of the season just look back on the last couple of races well the last three really how would you sum up the achievement of producing the two wins that you needed in my position? Well, I think it's easy to underestimate it. I think it's easy to say, well, Michael wasn't there, so you know, it would be difficult to win them. But the fact of the matter is, to win a Grand Prix is no mean feat. It's no mean feat uh, in any circumstances. What it means, what it meant to me was, I had a, I had an opportunity to uh, to go out there and, barring uh, me making a mistake or something failing in the car. Uh, I had a good chance of winning those races, but the pressure of that situation is quite, quite enormous. Um, but I, so I feel, feel in a way that uh, I've dealt with the most difficult bit of the season uh, in catching him up, and the, the, the remaining three races will be uh, much, much easier to cope with because it's just, it'll be a simple case of just racing against Michael. I'll know where the, what the situation is. I won't have to hope for anything because really it is in the lap of the gods a bit, but it's also down to how I drive in the last few races. Are you building up to the climax of the season in any way different to, to the rest of the season, trying to keep it routine? Uh, I think it's, uh, it, it's uh, unavoidable. The, uh, the importance of the last few races is that you're not going to escape the, the, uh, the pressure of that. But um, in, a, in a way, you have to try and keep everything uh, as normal as possible to to get the extract or allow myself to perform the way that I've been performing up until now. One thing that will be different is, is having Nigel back there, definitely in a supportive role. Have you had any communication in the, in the last few days? Not, not in the last few days, no. I think he's still in America at the moment, but uh, he'll be back in testing for RF uh, next week. And uh, I will be speaking with him, of course, when we get there. But uh, I've always been, um, I've always been spoken to, to Nigel and uh, kept in communication with him, but uh, we haven't spoken that recently. Well, wish you the best. It's going to be a great time, Max, and uh, you're going to give it a great shot, I'm sure. It's going to be uh, absolutely thrilling. I expect uh, every race will be very, very um, closely fought, and the guy who wins will, will have right to claim to um, the title of the best. Well done. Thank you. I hope it's you. Sure, it will be. Well done, David. Thank Thanks. Thank Thank <laughs> you.